Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I want to show you how you can encrypt a USB drive when you are traveling with the information. This helps to prevent unauthorized access to the document stored on it. Without the right decryption password, the data on it is useless. So without further ado, let's see how it works. First, you need to download a portable version of Veracrypt, and it comes free. Next, I'll show you how to divide the USB into two partitions. One partition for the Veracrypt program and one partition for your documents. Then I will show how to access the documents that you store on the USB from any computer that you trust. Now let's go to this website. Look for the latest version and download the portable version because we want to run it directly from the USB. In order to prepare the USB drive, you can use the Windows application. Go to the search bar and type create and format hard disk and choose disk. As you can see in the disk management, there are two disks. Disk 0, the C drive, size of 931 gigabytes, and disk 1, a removable USB. Right click on disk 1. Select property to verify that it is the USB flash drive. Then right click and select delete volume. A message pops up saying that all data on the flash drive will be lost. Are you sure you want to delete it? I click yes because I don't have any important files on the USB. What remains on the USB is an unallocated space. Right click on it and select new simple volume. Then click on next. Change the volume size to 200 megabytes. And click on next. We can assign any drive letter, for example, V. Then change its name so we can recognize it. For example, Vera. Then click on Finish. We have successfully created the first partition of the USB to store the portable version of Veracrypt. As you can see in the file explorer, this Veracrypt is currently empty, and I can put the Veracrypt program on here. Now, let's right click on the unallocated space, and select new simple volume, then click on next. I want to use the rest of the USB, so I just leave it like that, and click on next. We can assign any letter or use the available one, and click on next. Then, change the name so we can recognize it. For example, encrypted. And click on next and finish. Here we have successfully created a second partition of the USB. Now, let's copy the portable version of Veracrypt and put it on Vera. Double click on the exe to extract the file. We can change the language or click OK. Click on the box to accept the license term, then click on Next. We can extract it to the same folder, then click on Extract. All files have been successfully extracted to Vera. Click on Finish. As you can see in my File Explorer, this file is our portable file that we will use to encrypt and decrypt the USB. Let's run this program. Then, I'll show you how to encrypt the second partition on the USB. Click on Create Volume. Basically, a volume is just a storage space. In the volume wizard, there are three options. The first one is for creating an encrypted container. I may have another video to show you how to use this option to encrypt a group of folders and files. Let me know if you are interested in the comment section. The second option is for encrypting a non-system partition, like our second partition on our USB drive. And the third option is to encrypt the entire system drive, for example, the whole C drive where my windows are located. For, for the purpose of our video, let's select the second option. Then click on Next. Now, there are two options here. The standard volume or hidden volume. The first one would be good enough. Then click on Next. Now, we have to tell the program where our volume location is. Click on Select Device. As you can see in the list, there are two disks, hard disk 0, 
with several hidden partitions and a partition for the C drive on it. Basically, a drive is just a cabinet where we can put our files in. And a removable disk one, which has our Vera and E drive. Let's select our E drive. Click OK to confirm. Then click on Next. Now, there are two creation modes. The first one is for creating a volume on it, and it will be fast. The second one is to encrypt the partition in place. Basically, if you choose this option, the program will read every sector, encrypt data on it, and then put it back. This process may take longer. Since we do not have data on it yet, we select the first option, then click on Next. There are several algorithms for the encryption that you can use. But this default one is good enough, so we click on Next. We cannot change the size of the volume because we already choose the whole partition. So we click on Next. Enter the password and confirm. We can click here to display the password to verify that we have entered it correctly. Then click on Next. A message pops up saying that the password is too short and recommends 20 characters. I think my password is good enough. Then I click on Yes to confirm. It's asking if we intend to store a large file more than 4 gigabytes. If you do, select Yes. Otherwise, select No. Then click on Next. We can choose a file system for this volume like FAT or NTFS, and move the mouse randomly within the windows until we see the green bar. We can still change the file system in the last minutes, then click on Format. It is asking whether we want to disable Windows Fast Startup. Basically, the Fast Startup feature can prevent computers from shutting down completely and not dismounting the Veracrypt volume properly, and upon booting up, not prompting the password. So. Please make sure you dismount the volume after you finish your work before you shut down the computer or let it go to hibernation mode. As I don't want to change any settings on my computer, I click on no. Again, it asks are you really sure to erase everything on the second partition on the USB? Yes, I am really sure. So I click on yes. And the format gets started. And it takes 10 minutes on my 16 gigabytes USB 3.0. Finally, the format completes, and a message pops up advising that the letter E cannot be used to mount the partition. Use the available one during the mounting process. The letter E can be used when I want to delete volume. For example, right-click on the E drive and select Delete Volume. So just click on OK and close the message. Now the encrypted volume is created successfully. The volume now is ready for use. Click on Exit. Now let's go to my File Explorer. As you can see, it cannot access the E drive because the E drive was encrypted. Next step, I am going to show you how you can put your files on the encrypted volume. First. Let's run the portable program. I'm going to assign a drive letter to our encrypted volume, for example, X. Then click on Select Device and select the partition where the encrypted volume is located. Then click on OK. Then click on Mount button. Enter the password. Now the encrypted volume becomes X drive where I can store files. Let's have a look at the X drive. As you can see, it is empty. Now, I am going to put some files in it. I will copy this account folder and put it on X. I have the exact copy of my files on the X. X represents the encrypted volume, and the encrypted volume is located on the second partition on my USB. If I click on this mount, the encrypted volume is closed. All my files in that volume are protected. 
In this last section, I'm going to show you how to use the USB on another computer. As you can see on the screen, I log into a different computer. This computer has only a C drive. Now I plug my USB in. In the File Explorer, my two partitions on USB will be assigned different drive letters by this Windows PC. Remember, the portable VeraCrip is on Vera, is D drive, and the encrypted volume is E drive in this case. As you can see, there is no blue bar on E drive because this file explorer cannot access it. If I click on it, Windows assumes this is the unformatted volume. Let's go to Vera, run our portable program. Now you understand why I put VeraCrip on the USB. I can choose any letter for my encrypted volume, for example, X. Then I click on Select Device. Then I select Partition 2 on the USB where the encrypted volume is located. Then I click on the Mount button, then enter my password. Do you see that the encrypted volume now becomes X drive again? Now I can go to my folder and create a new document. and save it. When I am done, I click on this mount, and X will disappear. On the screen, there is just Vera and an encrypted volume. Basically, that is all about how to encrypt a USB drive. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and see our next video. Thank you for watching.